To tell us more about Mr. Xi's visit to the United States, we're joined today on Skype by Professor Minchin Pei, Professor of Government at Claremont McKenna College and an expert on U.S.-Asia relations. Professor Pei, thanks for joining us today. Now, some Asian broadcasters have said that Obama lectured Vice President Xi. Do you think that Obama was particularly tough as far as these meetings go? I'm sure Obama was very substantive, uh, very firm on uh, core U.S. Uh, interest related issues, but I would not use the word lectured because to be lectured, uh, it means uh, you are somehow uh, 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 in the wrong, you are being done, uh, you are being told not to do certain things. Uh, I'm sure the uh, talks were professional, uh, were very substantive, uh, but were also very cordial. Uh, it would not be in American interest or in Chinese interest to get into a very contentious fight at their first meeting. Now, how do you think Xi handled himself on this visit compared to when his predecessor, Hu Jintao, came to the United States on his maiden trip? Yeah. Well, there are two ways of looking at this. Uh, one way is to look at how Xi handled himself in public. Uh, and from, again, what I've read, uh, he did it in the way typical of a Chinese leader. He was very cautious. He was very, again, professional, uh, uh, no drama, no mistakes. Uh, but a little bit colorless. Uh, but in private, I was told, and I've read uh, in the press, that uh, he appeared to be a little bit more self-confident. And that had to be good news, both for Mr. Xi, who would like to come across as somebody who already has authority and will be able to make tough decisions. And I think Americans will be reassured as well, because this is somebody they would like to be able to do business with for the next 10 years. Now, is there anything in Xi's background that might lead you to think that he might accelerate economic and perhaps political reforms, uh, which many observers inside China think have been stalled? Now, I wouldn't use his background to predict his future policy or behavior, uh, because nobody knows. Uh, he will be uh, nominally the president and the secretary general of the Chinese Communist Party, but he will have to share power with a other key individuals in the part of the standing committee. So I would rule out uh, she, uh, the, the assumption that she alone will be able to do many, many things. However, he is interested in his uh, background. His father was a founding father of the Chinese People's Republic, and she himself uh, experienced an enormous hardship, both political and personal, when he was young. His father was arrested, was purged, sent to jail for 15 years, and she himself, as a teenager, was sent to the countryside. So I think that experience is very important in understanding his socialization. So basically you're saying that he may be, on a personal level, more sympathetic to potential reforms, but given the fact that he can't make unilateral decisions, uh, there's not going to be a radical change in course. Well, I think the second half I totally agree because he really cannot make unilateral unilateral changes. On the other hand, I think uh, people change. When he was young, he suffered hardship. But for the last 30 years, he was in the system. He climbed through the system very successfully. And that experience probably would counteract uh, the bitter experience he ex experienced as uh, a teenager. So uh, the bottom line is nobody knows. Thank you, Professor Pei. Minshin Pei is Professor of Government at Claremont McKenna College. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.